What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. In the previous episode, we had played the game a little bit. In fact, a lot of a bit. We had done an extra long episode. Now we're sitting at the final boss, hoping for a big W here. Oh good, they put in like a force barrier thing. I really need to get my bearings a little bit better before I jump into these fights. So there's a force barrier eating up that space over there. And there's multiple phases to this fight. I haven't ever fought it before. So you'll bear with me as I learn what each wave has coming because this game has the tendency to really kind of one-shot you. As we saw in our last episode where there was no cover, there was nowhere to go. I brought the Laz Cannon this time so that I can put some fire on those dudes before they run off. And so there's one down already. And that's the big, big issue right there is you don't want to let these guys all surround you. Once they start surrounding you, you're toast because then it just becomes a giant spam fest of grenades. So down he goes. Only a few more here to be dealt with. This big guy over here. Is that it? What you got? Next. Oh, hello. Okay. It's my fault. I opened my big mouth. Let me fight all these guys really quickly in melee, and once I vaporize them all with my golden shower of light, I'll handle that guy. And I know I probably could have used this for something a bit more poignant, but it's okay. Melee gives you a huge amount of fury, so going into melee is probably going to be the best option. I don't want to go any further into this fight until I isolate my fury meter one more time at its maximum apogee. And then I'm gonna leave one demon up so that I can grab this ammunition because I don't know what the next phase has in store for me. And now the difficulty of this part depends on whether or not... Okay, so there's nobody with a ranged weapon up on the sides. If they had decided to put a bunch of guys up on the sides that were firing at me during this, it would have been incredibly nasty. As it stands right now, a minor inconvenience, I think. Ow! Your version of my thunder hammer is painful. I don't really want to fight you because you've clearly got the superior weapon. I mean, yours is much larger than mine. And in Warhammer 40k, it's always kind of a functional battle between the size of something you have. Oh, that's not working at all. Alright, new gun. I don't have a thunder hammer. If I had a thunder hammer, I would totally fight them right now. And that sounds like the sort of thing you might say if you're totally not going to fight them, like when you're making excuses. But I'm being totally serious right now. And I may be pushed into a situation where I've got to use up my fury just to survive this. God, how are these guys not going down? It's the most headshots I've ever seen on one guy. There we go, so we finally got one of them. And the others should now be no problem. It's only in collusion that they become kind of nasty. Ah! 
Ow! Oh, he died. Damn it. I wanted to execute him. It's hopeless, Titus. I have the will of the dark gods behind me. But you, you have no one. And you will die here, alone. Killing my servants matters little. I am unassailable. The gods of chaos protect me with the very energies of creation. You forget, Nemeroth. I am no stranger to the touch of the warp. Don't do button mashing. Come on. Nobody likes these quick time events. Nobody. I will rise again and take my vengeance upon all men. Oh, will I find you? <laughs> what in the hell? Whose idea was this? I hate these quick time events. Good old fashioned beatdown. He just can't seem to get his hands on me. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, too slow. I think the two things we can take away from this is that Nemeroth can't aim, and Captain Titus can't punch worth a damn. That's kind of the inclination I'm getting here. Oh man, they switched the button on me. I had just gotten used to the rotation. Ow! Get up off my shield, man! This isn't working out so great for me. Am I pulling his head in? Oh! What? Alright, props. Props where they are due. That was the most legit thing I've seen in probably a few video games. Joining us. I see the Ultramarines are human, after all. More than you know, Lieutenant. is here. His injuries appear chaos inflicted. You are certain of this charge? Captain Titus has been corrupted by chaos, Inquisitor Thrax. I am no heretic! You lie! 
Only an agent of chaos could withstand such warp exposure. I sent the demon to oblivion. But did you have unholy assistance? We must know. You will submit to my authority, Captain, or the Inquisition must conclude that you have corrupted every Ultramarine under your command, not to mention those who stand at your side. Ignore his threats. Come on. The Inquisition will destroy you, Mira. And the Ultramarines will be forever dishonored. Leave my brothers and the Lieutenant alone. I will come with you. I do not know why I can resist the touch of chaos, but I swear I will discover the truth. We will discover many truths, Space Marine. Codex Astartes leaves no room for doubt. You cannot touch the warp and emerge unscathed. Codex Astartes is a set of rules. They guide us, shape us as ultramarines, teach us to hold duty and honor, sacred above all. But how we live with those rules is the true test of a space marine. And you have failed. completely unsatisfying ending, if I do say so. That really was sort of disappointing. Although, I guess, in this case, what we'll do is I wanted to thank everybody for sticking around with you through this series. I know it was a short one, and I kind of pulled a little runner there with the last episode, but I feel like it was probably a good thing to contain this as a final episode anyways, just because I didn't want to sit through all the cinematics again. I know you can skip them now, but at the time, I didn't know. This was Warhammer 40k Space Marine by THQ. It was originally supposed to be part of a trilogy in which the lead story designer said that Captain Titus was going to fall to heresy in some of the later games. And so you'd be fighting on the side of evil eventually. Which is pretty badass. It's disappointing that the series will never actually get fleshed out. It's just done because THQ went out of business. I don't think anybody else is going to buy the license either since the game is a little bit dated at this point. But we can hold out hope, I guess, as Warhammer 40k fans, that we may see another run. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerdcast for Warhammer 40k Space Marine. I look forward to seeing you all in our next series. Take care out there, everybody, and it's been a pleasure.